Old Dominion 20, Virginia Tech 17, and Brent Pry. You know, one thing that you don't want to do when you are the head coach at Virginia Tech is lose a game, even on the road, to Old Dominion. Because your roster should never be in that bad a shape that you would lose that game. Now, props to uh, Ricky Rain or Ricky Ronnie or who, whatever you want to call him, uh, the head coach at Old Dominion. They were both on the same staff at Penn State under James Franklin. But, eh, uh, let's let's jump over here and you can take a look, see this go-ahead touchdown here. Um, yeah, I mean, that, that fan base was nuts. Uh, this, by the way, this is one of those that I mentioned earlier about the most unlikely wins. Uh, Old Dominion had a 1% postgame win expectancy. That I mean, that's bananas. I mean, just nuts. Uh, because you see, Virginia Tech like had the win expectancy for the majority of the game, or the win probability, excuse me, and then, of course, drops it down at the end because of problems. Uh, looking at the stats, all right, Virginia Tech, 5.71 yards per play to only 3.72, uh, almost 100 total yards more they outgained them by. Here's your issue, though. That only two turnovers for Old Dominion to only five, uh, to only five, uh, <laughs> to five for, uh, for Virginia Tech. I mean, just brutal. Uh, Virginia Tech did have a better third down percentage because uh, 29.41% to only 18.75. I mean, it's just bleh. Uh, seven scoring opportunities for Virginia Tech. They only scored 1.43 points per scoring opportunity. At Grant Wells, uh, the, uh, the turnovers, the turnovers. It's just ridiculous. Uh, salt of the earth jumps in. Poor Hokies. Trey the waves. The sun or Trey the waves said the sun belt is like the SEC and G five play. I don't know that we're quite to that point, but we are. We're pretty close. Like the sun belt is a lot of fun. They are insanely passionate. They are, and really really good. The old Dominion, of course, just now joined the sun belt, and you start off your sun belt membership with a win over Virginia Tech, regardless of the fact that it is the debut for the new head coach, but man, um, I mean, this was just brutal to look at. And you see interception, interception, uh, fumble touchdown. <laughs> I mean, more fumbles, touchdowns. This was a rough game to watch. Another Virginia Tech interception that leads to uh, the game-winning touchdown and then an interception at the end of the game. It is brutal. Uh, it's off to the earth jumps in. Virginia Tech will beat West Virginia. Uh, I mean, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see because that's, that's calling for quite a lot. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.